Hey everybody, this is Future Jesse while I'm doing some of the editing. I uh, just want to give you guys a heads up that this video after I was done recording it, the file itself got corrupted. Now I was able to recover it, but there are a few spots in the video that weren't recoverable, which is why you might notice a few odd cuts here and there. Um, but the bulk of the video was fine, they're just the odd spots. So anyways, I just want to share that with you. So with that being said, let's just jump right into the video. This is a toxic relationship. These two should have gotten a divorce a long time ago, and then maybe... <laughs> What is up, gangsters and gangsterettes? Welcome to another episode of Layers of Fear. And on the last episode, which if you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link right above my head here. Um, we got another layer of our picture done. And now we're gonna get another layer done. And so on and so forth. So let's just hop right into it. Also, if you've noticed my face is a little darker right now, it's because I'm trying to play these games now without lights on. I'm trying to play more in the dark, you know? So get a bit more creepy. Oh, hold on. There we go. I'm just hearing whispering. Is it still this? Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. That's all. It's nothing major. Pfft. Cool. Okay, so that was all that that was. Let's just head back out of this room and see what awaits me out there. What is this? I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night. And now there you are, locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. No! It's how I do my stuff. How do I... Oh, there we go. What's in here? Is there anything? Ah. Oh. Well, that's not a nice picture. It's just like a family album. It, there's a lot of pictures apparently to find. What is this? Found this little collection of empty bottles. Oh, yeah. Those are both in the same room if I remember correctly. Anyways. Okay. Let's go. What's out here? Hello? We're not going that way, apparently. Oh, I remember this. This That was where there was a rat, right? Alright, I'm gonna take a quick poke around, see if I can find anything. And if I find something, you'll still be seeing this. And if I don't, then you're already at the door going in there. We're good. It was just the wind. That's all that was. It was the wind. Because, you know what? For this playthrough, I don't believe in ghosts. I'm going to try and think of any, you know, logical reason for some of these. Instead of just, it was a ghost. Because, and say it with me now, ghosts don't exist. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. Nothing. I'm going to change the piano. It was on a string. Somebody's back there and they pulled it. That's all that was. Somebody's in my house f***ing with me. That's, that's what's going on right now. Whew. And that person, I don't like him. Hey, back there with the cord. Stop pulling shit. Oh, let's check here. Aha, another note. About a boy who wakes up in a cave, he finds a mysterious note in a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually, he winds up at a small cabin where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory. He killed a guy who had murdered his father. In the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard? Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Caldwell. Yeah, how much you want to bet that's sort of what's going on with me here. I'm, uh, I'm lost it, and I'm actually just sitting in that room painting, and this is all in my head. None of this is real. Another point for ghosts don't exist. Only tortured minds exist. And imagination, I guess. Just, just one, just one side of a door. That's cool. Hello, what's out there? Nothing. <laughs> oh, 
My heart. God damn it. Whew. Okay, that was just a mirage. I'm dehydrated and I'm seeing things. That's that's what that was. That was not a ghost just walking there. Whew. F*** me. <laughs> oh, this room already doesn't look good. I just don't like it when a room is this empty. For one light. Yeah, it's already closing in on me. Shocker. What does that say? Creator's block. Like writer's block, but for an artist. So, ah, the f***ing door disappeared. Let's just spin in a circle till something pops up. There we go. Anything else? Ah, and there's a door. Yeah, I think I'm going for the door. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Can I... I got a key. That's, uh... I don't know, that person that's in my house is really messing with me. Is it just me? Or does that shadow look like he's got like a hat? Like like an elf hat or something? Whatever. Anyways, let's go down this creepy ass hallway. Uh-huh. Yep, this sounds nice. This definitely feels like a great part of my house. Can I even... Oh, I'm going to turn around. Something's going to be there and I don't want to. I don't want to turn around. Oh, we're good. It's just a nicer room. And I guess that window's gone. Yep. Okay. Um, some cool little shades that I can't put on. Nothing in there. Can I open the next drawer? No. How about this drawer? Haha! -ha! A calendar for June. Don't forget the 9th. What is, what is June 9th? I don't know. Not anything for me to worry about right now. What the... Oh, that's what the key was for? Is this chest? May 23rd. How can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study. Oh, he just slithers in and out of his study. Obsessively working on one failed painting after another. Oh, come on. That's rude. That's that's a cheap shot. I'm trying. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can't... I can tell he's disgusted by me. That's... Sorry, that sucks. This this sounds like a very shitty marriage. The look he gave me the other day, that pathetic, hurtful look, a combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. I have come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. Feels like I it feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decide to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. See this. This is a toxic relationship. These two should have gotten a divorce a long time ago, and then maybe <laughs> hinges, termites. That's what that was. I just tried to open the door and it just fell apart. That's all that was. Not ghosts, termites. Um, but yeah, no, they should have gotten a divorce a long time ago. Maybe I wouldn't be dealing with this. You know, she maybe still be alive. I assume she's dead, but maybe she put me in a mental home. And again, this is all in my head. Hey, we're back here. All right. What do we got? All right. Let's go through this door. Turn on this light. Can I turn on this light? Oh, fuck, I actually made myself jump a little bit there. All right. Where are we at? What are we doing? Is this a study? No, I don't know what this is. Whatever. We can go down. We got another door. What's through this door? Nothing. I guess we're going downstairs. Can I climb the ladder? I can! Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, can I move it? I can move it. Okay, hold on. A key! Haha! <laughs> Gaming logic. Haha! Stay open. Nothing gonna make me jump in here? Just a picture? Ah. What are those burns on? Like, that's the baby. Oh, is that my wife? Okay. Nice. Great. Cool. I'm surprised that door is still there. Okay. There we go. That was a fun little side journey. Okay. Long, creepy hallway. Cue jump scare in a bit. I. That's kind of loud. Is that like a ring from a phone going backwards? 
That's actually what it sounds like. Backwards phone ring. Oh, please. Oh. I don't even want to read this while I have this going on in my friggin' ears. Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. I can't even focus on what I'm reading right now at the... Um... Still out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve, nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be psychological, but rather purely psychological. Physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, MD, another f***ing quack. Ah, that goddamn noise! Stop it! Ah, that noise! So yeah, I'm guessing then my wife was stuck in a fire or something? Okay, that's still going and I've just done a circle. Turn off the candles. Ah, there it is. Stop. 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 Kick it off and break it. Oh my god. It's so frustrating. I can't even pick it up. Ugh. Fine. I'll keep going in a circle some more. What if I go the other way? It doesn't seem to be working going that way. Ah, now we're, we're going the right way. Mm-hmm. Oh. Thank you! Oh, ghost or whoever? No, wait, I don't believe in ghosts. No! Stop! <laughs> I can't take the ringing. Please, I beg of you. Oh my god, thank you. Oh. We get out of here? Oh, thank god. I'm done with that. Restless memories. We need a new light bulb. Or we gotta t call the electrician because we got some shoddy power going on here. <laughs> I'm very out of focus and I just realized that. Okay, I opened the window a little bit so there's a bit of light on my face so hopefully it'll just be able to focus now. Um, let's try this again. Cool, nobody there. Now this looks like a nice room where a lot of beautiful things happened. I can't read the beginning of this word. Some suffered thoughts? Maybe? I can see red. I know red is at the end. Um. Flapping horror. Be quiet. Constantly flapping. Eating other rats? Alright. This is a weird, weird room. Ah! There we go. Got it. Light switch. Um, Alright, let's take a quick look around. See if I can find anything. Okay, let's just get out of here now. Nothing for me. Oh, this, this is going to be... Oh, excuse me. This is going to be a hallway where I'm going to jump. Yup. Oh, my mouse isn't even working right now. Ah, there we go. Who left the window open? Ah, what is happening? I just got shoved back. Hi. Well, this hallway looks significantly worse now. See, this is all just in my head. This is just me being crazy. Not ghosts. 
Oh, we're back to the elevator. Great. Hope is the mind killer. This is where we're stopping. This doesn't look like a very nice floor. Okay. Ooh. Abandon hope while you can. I was half expecting to say abandon hope all who enter. Well, this, this is going to be another scary room because there's nothing in here. And come here, it's going to be locked. Oh, it's not locked. And nothing changed behind me. Okay, interesting. Although now it feels like I'm walking in and I'm about to see like a bunch of hooded people doing some kind of crazy ritual. Goddamn rats. Oh, I actually can't go this way. I have to go this way. Okay. Let's go. Can't open that. That's not a cabinet or anything. Um... I feel like I could usually tell when some crazy shit is gonna go down because the, the like, tone and the music changes a little bit. What is this? Is this locked? It's a bathroom. Yep. Oh, please stay open because I'm pretty sure I want to go the other way, but I want to investigate. Put the toilet seat down. Flush. There's nothing to flush, apparently. No! 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 Ha! Catch you open. Oop. It's a doll. Silent floaters. <laughs> I'm sorry. Silent floaters, and I just thought of poop. <laughs> I'm so immature. Uh, they clog the drains. Fur in the water. No baths for me. They do clog the drains, though. The hell is that noise? Is that the uh, silent floaters? Not very silent. Wait, hold on. Now I'm curious. Why should be a rat in here? Nope. Flush! Alright, whatever. Moving on! What's through here? Nothing. Click the switch. Didn't change a goddamn thing. Um, locked. Uh, ha! More light switches and more locked doors. What if I? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that might unlock a door. I'm just hitting every one of these light switches. I don't even really... Like, I could tell it turns something on, but I don't know what. Wait, was that on all the doors? And I just didn't notice? No. Hello? What fresh hell is in this little spot? Oh, come on. Let me... Let me open the drawer! God! Body borrowers feeding on me, driving me insane too fast to cut out. Well, that's not good. I think that's a side effect, a crack. Oh, there's my reflection. Hello, me. You crazy son of a bitch. Oh, I feel like I'm playing Stanley's Parable now. Which door do I want to choose? Let's go this one. Nope, it's not going to let me. How about this one? Nope, not Wait. Okay. Is this just a brick wall now, too? No. <laughs> no. Oh. This looks like I'm walking to my ritual death. Alright. Well, this just got trippy. I feel like I'm walking like the crooked man. Damn it! I keep blurring. Alright, I turned on my light, but I pointed it against the wall. So it's still kind of dark in here, but there's a light now that won't go away as the sun goes down. Uh-huh. Can't... Uh, I'm get. Oh, it did work! Kind of lights... Like, the electricity must run so slow in this house for it to have hit the lights like that. Oh my god. I don't like this. Oh, this just feels heavy in here. I feel like I'm playing Phasmophobia again. Or like I'm watching, is it Paranormal Activity? That first one in theaters, you could like hear the heaviness when shit was about to happen over to the night scenes. And that's what's going on right now. I could 
feel it, I can hear it. It's deep. And it's just like my eardrums are just vibrating. Anyways, let's I'm sure there's well, something just melted away. Is there anything down here for me? Ah. Dangling dread, patient is that thirsty? Oh, yeah, patient, thirsty, furry leeches, afraid to look up. Ugh. mice that just fell on me it's great okay I guess that's it oh look we found a piano again oh, oh more things is melting away uh, okay let's hit a note Jesus definitely sounded like a glass broke somewhere what's that just, a, just a... Okay, maybe I should stop playing this piano. Let's do it again. Huh. Somebody turned on the anti-gravity. That's what that is. This again, not ghosts, because ghosts don't exist. Oh, it's the whole room. I can't press anything else. Whoa. Look, Ma, I'm floating! No, I'm not. I'm the only thing not floating. Oh, can I- I'm gonna move things around and knock at things. Whee! This is actually fun. Oh. It's a good thing I wasn't under a tape- oh. Ha ha! It's just all gonna abruptly stop and I'm gonna get a table on the head and it's gonna hurt. Oh god. It's good! Keep playing! Even this drawer. Go! Go! Fly away! Ha ha! I'm just charging. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, there's actually nothing here anymore. And it's very dark. Barely see what's going on. Okay, is the piano still there? I'm guessing it's gone. Nope, we got something here though. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw, <laughs> the boiled irony. it, then put the bone in a mortar. Sorry, for some reason I, I thought he cut one. his own hand Obviously, off. Obviously, this was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. This dude's real crazy. Oh, so that's, okay, that's the thing I had to grab for this one. So now the next bit should... Most likely, be back into my study where my painting is. So, let's go back up here, probably through a door. Oh my god, he's gonna take forever to get up the stairs. Hey, we made it. Hey, we're- oh, this is really starting to look worse and worse in here, isn't it? I don't know why, I always have to, like, halfway through these games where I could open stuff like this, remember that I should open it from the bottom up, so that I don't have to close anything. All right, let's uh, see what happens. Is that like, I'm seeing a humanoid type shape coming out, but it kind of looks like it's in a fiery place-ish with a bunch of destruction underneath. It's an interesting looking painting. Yeah, so there's some bone. Didn't even look at this. What if you fail? I won't fail. That's not a thought that can go through my mind. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Layers of Fear. It was a fun one to do. Definitely, I think, one of the scarier ones I've gone through so far. And I'm sure it's just going to get worse from here on out. But again, I didn't believe in ghosts. There was a logical reason for everything. It's a f***ing lie, but it's what I'm telling myself anyways. <laughs> Anyways, please, if you did enjoy the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. It helps get me out there. And I will see you on Monday for the next episode of Layers of Fear. Till then, have a great weekend. Cyber Jesse, out.